Welcome into this edition of Terrier Vision. We're joined alongside Director of Basketball Operations, Drew Gibson, and Wofford Men's Basketball Senior, Carl Cocker. And guys, thanks for taking some time and joining us. Thank nice. you. Thanks for having me. Now, Drew, as you know very well, Carl tied your uh, career Division One steals record Saturday at VMI with his 213th career steal. Allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> allegedly tied it. Um, you know, are you are you... First of all, you know, happy that it was a guy like Carl who comes up and ties your record. He's going to try and break your record with the games left this season. But, you know, would you have picked anybody else? Uh, I mean, got a great player here. So the best, one of the best, why not have him break your record, you know? And, you know, it gives me the opportunity to uh, to be mentioned a little bit, even though he's breaking it. <laughs> but, you know, it's cool. I can... No better guy, you know, athletic guy like him, like Carl, gets after it on defensive end. So, yeah, and he wears number two as well. So Same number that you wore, 2004 to 2008. The, uh, the, not the originator, but the founder, <laughs> the founder of the two. So maybe uh, in the future uh, we have to, like, keep the two reserved for the defensive stopper or something like that. Now, Carl, heading into the VMI game, do, you know, have you been keeping track of it for a little while, how close you've been getting to Drew's Division One record? Uh, I, I definitely have. I've been, i kind of been letting Coach Gibson know ever since I got within 10, you know, if I get a steal, I show him nine. It took about, I think the first time I did it, he didn't know what I was doing until like a couple <laughs> minutes later. Then it got to him and he was like, oh. Like in the middle of a game, like, <laughs> this this crazy guy right here, he's just in the middle of the game, it's like 10, like, what are you, what are you talking about? And then it hits me. But it's, this is Carl, so he, he could do anything he wants as long as he's helping us win, you know? Exactly. Exactly. Now, big game on Thursday night against Chattanooga. Uh, Chattanooga tied for second place in the conference with Mercer. The first time Wofford played Chattanooga this year, up in Tennessee, uh, struggling first half, Terriers trailed 30 to 20, but then Carl in the second half, 27 points, 33 points in the game. Uh, you know, what do you recall from that game? Um, I think the main thing I recalled from that game was my teammates' positivity. That really affected me. Um, you know, when you are one of these scorers on the team and you have teammates that, you know, kind of tell you not to keep your head down, you know, if you miss a couple, they're like, don't worry, it's going to go in. I mean, that, that really affects you in a good way. Besides teammates, if you miss a couple, they're like, all right, it's not your day. You know, right off the back, let's go somewhere else. It kind of hurts your confidence. So uh, my teammates were a big role in that. And um, just the drive to win, you know, we didn't win there last year. Matter of fact, chat swept us during the regular season last year. So that drive to, you know, finally beat them, is another thing that pushed us over the limit. Now, Drew, I've talked to you about this before, but your senior year, the 07-08 season, you, that was two years before the Terriers went to the uh, NCAA tournament for the first time, won the SOCON tournament championship. And, you know, you like to say that y you guys laid the groundwork for that team to be so successful. You know, how does it feel to be back on the team this year, first year as director of operations, and see an yet another 20-win season uh, Saturday at VMI. The Terriers got their 20th win, fourth 20-win season in the last six years. I mean, it feels good being being with the team and being around the guys. It's a good group of guys. Um, all the coaches I've either played with or helped recruit it or played under. So, like, we have a great chemistry with the team. And just seeing them work every day and 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 want the best for each other is what's special about this team and great to be around so like being 20 wins this early in the season for Wofford is 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 pretty good Carl you've been on two of the teams back to back years with 20 wins you know what's it like to go from your freshman year where the team is rebuilding a little bit from back to back SoCon championships and then get back to the tournament last year and looking like another successful run so far this year? Um, we finally got the weight off our shoulders. My freshman year, there was a lot of pressure on us because we went back to back. There was a lot of pressure on us to be the team in Wofford history that three-peats. There was a lot of pressure on us to be one of the few teams in 
mid-major history to go three years in a row winning 20 games and we dropped the ball and then sophomore year you know a lot of people wondering you know are they going to pick it back up and we dropped the ball again and then junior year we finally had the turnaround that people were expecting from us for a long time and we brought back that Wofford prestige you know winning our conference and putting our small school back in the tournament on a national stage and then this year we have a very good chance of doing it again it's really special it's um one of those things that stick in your mind and you stay with your memories for a really long time all right carl and drew uh, thanks for taking some time and joining us and good luck on thursday against chattanooga and then on the road saturday at western carolina thank, thank you. you i still got my assist record <laughs>